Hello, my beautiful Virgos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is your love interest? The one you're here for, the one you want to know about. What do they secretly want to tell you but they haven't? Okay, so what's going on behind the scenes with this person? Let's find out. And we're also going to look at what the likely outcome of this connection is going to be. Okay. And guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. Also, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com. And if you like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, JenniferWalkerZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful Virgos, let us jump right in here. And if you guys like these kind of readings, you want me to continue this kind of reading, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what is going on, my Virgo's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What's going on, my Virgo's love interest? What do they secretly want to tell my Virgo's, but they haven't? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So, Virgo's, you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represent your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. We're also gonna pull three cards for what is the likely outcome of this connection. Okay, so let's go to the first card here, Virgo. We have the Eight of Wands energy. Okay, so I feel like this person's like, I'm holding on tight, let's just move, let's get this going. Um, I also feel like this person really wants to communicate some things to you. And remember the Eight of Wands for the Tarot is all about messages, communication. So this is our communication card. So I feel like this person's just holding on tight and they're just like, let's just see where this goes. Okay, and we see the World card energy. I feel like with this particular World card energy, this person's like, I really want some balance here because I feel like with this particular world card energy, this person's holding a smaller ball here and a bigger ball here, right? But it just seems like there seems to be a lack of balance. Um, I feel like this person's like, I want things to come full circle here. Um, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, balance the situation. I also feel like it's almost like they're a ballerina here. They're trying to balance this. Also, some of you may be dealing with a long distance situation uh, or a foreign element here with the world card being here. So it's a, this, it seems like there's a lot of movement in your cards as well. Like, um, it's like, I want to, I want things to move here, Virgo, and I want to travel towards you, Virgo, and I want things to come full circle. I want to have a sense of accomplishment, a sense of completion. But of course, we're going to clarify further with the Lenormand to see. Yeah. What did I say? I feel, I feel like this person's like concerned about things being balanced. And then what it comes out, the Six of Pentacles energy. And we can see in this particular card, it's like there's this teapot and the tea is only going in one, one person's cup. So, and it's like, this person kind of seems stunned, like I don't get any, like, so I feel like this person is really concerned about bringing the connection into balance. And even here, there's like, you know, these, to, uh, I can't think of the name at the moment, but you guys can tell me in the comments. Um, <laughs> the things that, that try to bring things into balance, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, they're all, it's on the teapot itself. So I feel like this person's really concerned about having a balanced connection with you. Like it's like they're like, they're, they're not feeling like they're getting an equal amount of time. Like they don't feel like you're paying attention to them. That's what I feel like. I feel like they're like, look, I'm, I'm wanting to go wherever you want to go here, but I really just want balance in this situation. I want to bring balance in the situation. I want an equal give and take in this situation here. And I don't feel like this person is feeling like they're getting that. And it's like, they're kind of like a little bit, I feel like in a little bit of shock mood. All right, let's keep going. Let's clarify further. What does Virgo's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Virgo's love interest secretly want to tell Virgo, but they haven't? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got the doll card energy, we got the tower card energy, and we have the mountain card. So the doll can represent loyalty, friendliness, and a sense of isolation or separation from these delays and challenges. Yeah, they feel like there, there seems to be some delays 
in the connection that's causing a lack of balance with the Six of Pentacles energy. And they really want this sense of accomplishment. They really want things to be done in a structured, organized way. They want to have a conversation about loyalty here with the doll card energy. Okay, let's keep going. All right, my beautiful Virgos. What is my Virgos love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What does my Virgos love interest secretly want to tell my Virgos? Show me the cards they need to see. Ooh, okay, that card wanted to pop out. Let's see what that's about. So we see the deception card about deceptions and wanting to watch out for dishonesty in something secret. Okay, let's keep going, Virgo. What is my Virgo's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is my Virgo's love interest? I secretly want to tell my Virgo's, but they have it. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So they want to tell you that they're trying to be patient because they do want movement here or they want to have a conversation about loyalty. They want to tell you, oh, this deception card wants to come out again, that they're not being honest here about wanting to isolate or separate themselves to have a sense of accomplishment or sense of completion. They want to tell you about these challenges, these delays, in a sense that there's something that isn't an equal give and take. Mm, okay, this is a heavy reading so far. Okay, so we got the King of Pentacles energy. I feel like this person wants to tell you, okay, I feel like where this particular card, my intuition is telling me there's something hidden in the background here. Okay, uh, like another person. Uh, we see that this person is kind of like balancing themselves between two different situations here, Virgo. Okay, and there's something to do with money here around this. And we see the Knight of Swords. It's like this person wants to cut away the confusion because of a sense of truth here in bringing some kind of knowledge to you about this. And then Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, three of pentacles. It's like, I want to be creative in my solutions. I want to build a foundation here. I do want to work together with you. Okay, so like, I feel like the best decision for me pertaining to the long term is to not make any abrupt decisions here, but to be honest with you about wanting to work together to build a foundation, okay? Scythe card energy, clouds card energy, and the whip card energy. I'm making a decision that I'm confused. Or there's a, a, a situation here where I want to cut away the confusion when it comes to these arguments and fights and hurt and pain with the whip card energy. So we see very soon, we see crossroads, Virgo, and we see balance. This person's like, I need to make a decision very soon. I'm at a crossroads of what to, how, what to do here because I feel like there is some imbalances here that I want to bring eh, to balance. I want to balance something here with this indecision. So we see, what's this indecision about? This indecision is about, I'm trying to be patient here to accept delays in the situation, but I do feel like there's challenges here. How do I be honest with you? I'm trying to make a decision very soon and to bring things into balance. Okay, so we got the Ace of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Five of Wands here, Virgo. This person does want to tell you that they have passion for you and that they've seen a lot of growth in that area. That's what I feel like here. And that they're trying to gain knowledge or there's some kind of potential opportunity of passion or creativity here. And they're really looking at these memories of the past and things of the past with the Six of Cups energy. And this person wants to argue and fight about it with the Five of Wands energy. We see a person card coming out. We see a heart card coming out and we see a snake card. So as I always tell you guys about the person card, the person card could be you, could be the love interest, could be a person infringing upon the connection. So uh, there's something to do with this person and love and having this sense of jealousy here with the snake card energy, okay? And we see that this person wants to make the effort here, but this other person, ex-partner, um, is, is an issue for them that they're obsessing about. Okay. So this person's trying to be patient. They want you to make a decision very soon to make the effort. 
they have a sense that you're not being honest with them or they don't know how to be honest with you about this indecision when it comes to this other person. They're having some challenges here in how to bring things into balance and they're really obsessively thinking about this and attached to it. Okay, let's keep going here, Virgo. This is a little bit shocking. Uh, I feel like uh, just uh, this is a very, very deep reading, Virgo. It's a very deep, shocking reading. Um, we see that loyalty or friendliness or something to do with this friend and making a decision about this person. This isolation from this confusion because of love. Delays and challenges because of arguments and fights about this jealous nature or about this lack of flexibility or the desires here. Okay, let's keep going here, Virgo. Okay, I want to communicate some things and I want to make the best decision when it comes to the long term here. But there's this opportunity of passion here and I want things to come full circle and I want to cut away some things that are seemingly confusion of the past. I want to bring balance to the situation. I know there's more than one person involved with this and this is what's causing these arguments and fights. Okay, Virgo, let's, let's take a look at the likely outcome here. Okay, um, all right, so we got the Wheel of Fortune card. We have the High Priestess. And, oh my goodness, the Tower. And what was I just saying about this shocking reading? All right, so... There's going to be some things that are going to turn in your favor, and the secret is going to come crumbling down. It's going to, it's going to change. It's, there's going to be some shocking surprises about it. So let's go further on this. Book card is a secret. Things are going to turn in your favor, and there's going to be heart to heart conversations to reveal it. Okay? There's going to be heart to heart conversations that's going to be very shocking and surprising. It's going to reveal some secrets about this situation. You're going to gain knowledge here about the situation. Let's go further. I've really thought about this deeply. I'm really hopeful that we can have a positive outcome and money and finance seems to be affecting our romantic love life or I want something of value here going further. It's a sense of gaining new perspective and overcoming these challenges and looks like six of wands shows me that you're going to have a victory with the six of wands energy, a victory around the situation because you're going to overcome these challenges here and it is still ho hopeful of a positive outcome considering how, how extensively um, complex this reading is okay oh my goodness yes Virgo I want to hear from you guys in the comments below I did release the monthly guys so you can get more information about what's going on with your situation and it will show the um, love career and finance and health and wellness also we're, uh, we're going to be doing a reading on their true feelings for you and their true intentions so you may want to stay tuned for that as well that's going to be in the next couple days so stay tuned for that um, and the weeklies will be the next reading that's up and available, which is the day-to-day -day and the overall. I also have the next two weeks, which is for people who have a love interest or if you're single, so you can go check that read out as well. I love you guys so much and try to have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.